and thank you for joining me. Many cultures and belief systems around the world believe that returning to our home in the heavens is the true meaning of life. How do we get there? Through spiritual refinement, by following a set of guiding principles and achieving spiritual perfection. In this series, we follow Falun Dafa, also known as Falun Gong, whose guiding set of principles are Jen, Shan, Ren, or truthfulness, compassion, forbearance. Today, I have two articles. The first is by a teacher, the Ming Wei Dao Dao Kindergarten in Taiwan, and it's titled Learning to Say Kind Words. In today's world, people say uncharitable things about each other all the time. It is rare to find someone who chooses to say kind things about other people. If we fail to say kind things about other people, how do we expect our children to learn to say kind things about other people? At Ming Wei Duo Duo Kindergarten, we usually wrap up each day by reviewing the day's activities with the children. One day, I decided to change the routine and end the day by prompting the children to say kind things about other people. Class, can anyone think of a classmate who, be classmate who behaved well today? This was supposed to be a simple question, but the class suddenly became silent and still, as if I'd given them a challenge. After two long silent minutes, a kid raised her hand and answered seriously. Teacher, C poked at me today. Other kids looked at me, anticipating my reply. It was not until then that I realised that they did not even know what kind words meant. I explained to the little girl, these are not kind words. Saying kind words is saying the virtues or good things about other people. For example, I saw Bobo and Hang Hang from the third grade helping little girls out in the first grade today. I would call Bobo and Hang Hang thoughtful. Calling people thoughtful is saying kind words. After hearing my explanation, the children looked at each other and looked confused. Before I called it a day, I told them, Tomorrow, I expect you to start saying kind words about other kids. Therefore, I hope that you will start observing other kids tomorrow. A few days later, the children gradually learned to find other kids' virtues. At breaks, many of them were eager to tell me that they saw good things in other kids. At first, the merit they found in other kids was usually about being able to concentrate on practicing the Falun Gong exercises, completing the practice of the Falun Gong standing stance without taking any breaks, or completing the practice of strengthening divine powers without putting down the legs. At Ming Hua Duo Duo Kindergarten, we practice the Falun Gong exercises every day. Gradually, older kids learned to appreciate other kids' merits at a deeper level. Teacher, Jing Yun showed better table manners today. Teacher, Ding Ding pointed at each Chinese character when he studied the far today. He studied the far well today. I also reminded the praised kids to thank the children who paid them compliments. After a few weeks, I began to ask the children to observe their parents and pay them compliments. I hope that they will prompt their families to have more kind thoughts. I think I have benefited the most from the exercise. In the first few days, when the kids were not very enthusiastic about practicing in the exercise, I had to give them many examples of good words such as gentle, considerate, thoughtful, I was surprised that I had to think for a long time to come up with good words. It means that I rarely use these words in my daily life. It is an alarming sign for me. How do I prompt the students to say kind things about others when I do not even remember many kind words? 
Nowadays, the children sometimes come up to me to tell me good things about other kids. I ask them to pay those kids direct compliments. Before the end of each day, I ask the kids to tell each other their observed good behaviour. Sometimes the kids would come whispering in my ear. I think you did very well today, teacher. My heart would melt each time I heard such compliments. It gives me great pleasure to hear the kids praising each other's good behaviour. When a kid hears a compliment from his peers, he will feel very welcome, included and confident. What a wonderful article. Thank you for the teacher and Ming Wei for that submission. The next article is about a painting and it is titled A Lesson. And the artist is a practitioner from Wisconsin, USA. The description of this painting is as follows. In a dream, a Buddha was drawing a tulip. I was leaning against his knee, watching him as he painted the flower calmly and with great poise. The tulip looked like a little kid's drawing. I puffed up and said, Ah, I can do better than that. The Buddha continued painting, still smiling contently, and the dream ended. When I woke up, a feeling of embarrassment overtook me. The Buddha's tulip did not look too detailed, but it carried his compassion. The painting glowed with light. Who would not want that painting on their wall? What would my paintings represent? It was a lesson in character. To be a better artist, I have to improve myself. To understand what beauty is at higher levels, I have to have more beauty within. How wonderful. Thank you for joining me on the journey home. Thank you.